I'm going to show you how to do the trial of archery side quest in Dragon's Dogma 2. So this is a step two quest. So there's this guy in Vernworth. I'm talking to him right now. First, you do a gift of the bow with this guy where you give him a bow and then you go to a training area and you're looking up your partner and know this. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to him. He'll tell you some stuff and then it'll start up this quest. So there we go. Trial of archery. Again, this is uh, right by Jorn's armory in Vernworth right here. Right by Roderick Smithy in this area. And that's where you find him for both the quests. If he's not there after the Gift of the Bow quest, just wait for a day or two and then go check and then he should be there. Alright, so for this one, we need to head back to where we went to for the first one, but a little bit different. So we went to the Mountain Ruins before, and uh, right next to that is a campsite. So here we are at the campsite. Again, one more time, this is all the way up here. Now, there's Vernworth. It's all the way up here. And so there's last time there's a road. The road forks off right here. There's like a down tree branch or something, whatever this is. You go up this. And there he is. Okay, well, he was up there. So like I was saying, he's up here. So you go up to him. He's got some stuff to say. Now, this part I'm probably going to skip. You literally just follow him. He leads you to the elf village, and it takes a little while. After a very long journey through the woods, you'll end up on the edge of Sacred Arbor, which is like the elf village all the way up here. And then once you get in here, it should initiate a little cutscene thing right here. <laughs> the NPC just teleports in right there. And they'll all say some things in Elvish and stuff, and um, then he'll come and talk to you afterwards. Forgive me from this moment forward. Now, come. Okay, so now we just follow him a little bit further. We gotta go through um, the little city here into another room where some more stuff will happen here. So he's gonna take us up here. I already know where he's gonna go. He's gonna go across this bridge. I can just cut ahead of him if I know. And go over here. And cross this bridge. And then it'll go back into um, the Arborist's home over here. So that'll initiate a scene. There'll be some dialogue. This guy will come in and speak in an Elvish. I'll go ahead and skip all this. So something about his sister's in trouble. And marked it on the map. So now if you go out of the map right here. We need to go over there by the Arbor Bridge. Alright, so once you get to the general area, you could cross the bridge and find your way down, or you can just splat on the ground down here. Or hit the left side right there and not even splatter on the ground. Um, maybe on this one we'll splatter on the ground, we'll see. Yep. But, I don't really care. It's fine. Let's go to the inventory and we'll drink a potion. So anyway, go up here. You can see it on the map again. You can see it on the mini-map even. And here's the next part of the quest. Okay, there'll be a little bit more dialogue and stuff, and now it says you reach the ancestral chamber. So now we need to head inside. Um, there'll be some fighting in here, some things to kill. Oh, missed one. There we go, there's a goblin over here. Okay, we'll keep moving through. Archery's OP, by the way. Even with a controller with no aim assist. Alright, there we go. Keep moving through. There's all. Oh, is there one more goblin? Yep, there was. Alright, there's that. We're going to take a right at this uh, fork in the road. Going to lead us up to here. Is best okay. And we're going to keep following this path. Now we can head over here. This will lead us around to this area. And then we're finally making it to the quest objective. So it's pretty deep in here. With a lot of ways to get lost. I 
had near attempt yet for the sake of my sister. All right, so he's going to shoot an arrow at it. Pray. Keep oh. Darren out of harm. All right, so he drops the girl and now we have to awkwardly just run up. Looks like that <laughs> looks like Ogre was trying to kill her. <laughs> All right, and we take this person, pick him up with the, his bottom rise, right trigger, R2 or right trigger, depending on your controller, or if you're on mouse and keyboard, it says at the bottom right your controls. So now all we got to do is uh, we just got to get out of here. So we're just going to carry this person. And we will head back out the way we came. I think there might have been a faster way I could have gone. Um, we can drop her or forcibly get her dropped. And then keep going. So if you need to defend yourself, you can just drop her with the same button you used to pick her up. And then fight and then uh, pick her back up afterwards. Also, stamina regen is super slow while carrying her. So you can actually drop her in order to get your stamina back. Like, everything's just chill now. We're all just chill. There's no ogre or anything chasing. We're just, we're just chill. It's <laughs> so <laughs> awkwardly scripted for this whole thing. So, yeah, we're going to head up this way. Um, do the chest over there. There's chests all through your loop. I'm going to skip it all. I'm just going to do the main thing here. But when you go here, feel free to explore every little detail. And, um, again, I'm just going to drop her while I get stamina back. I'm actually going to have my uh, my pawn has a haste spell. I'm going to see if I can get this one to cast it. Oh, heck, heck yeah. We got we got haste. Look at me now. I'm zooming. All right. So we're going to head through here. And then we can wrap around again to the left. I'm going to drop the pawn or drop the, the girl. Wait for stamina again, which does seem to be significantly faster. Okay. And this last one ought to do it, or at least close. We're getting close to the entrance. I'll probably not drop her again just because we're so close to the entrance. All right, we're back at the start. We just got to get through this entrance. Okay, and once we get out here, it should do a cutscene. Talk to each of these people. Alright, so there we go. We saw Dorian to safety. So, I think we, uh... Need to speak with. Wait, not this guy. Was it this guy? Yeah, we need to speak to the, the old guy before he walks off. And there we go. That completes the quest. We get repeller bow, and more importantly, we get a port crystal and sixteen thousand gold. So there you go. That's the trial of archery. The final spot I was at was right here on the map. Um, that is how to do the trial of archery in Dragon's Dogma Two.